What's crackling, everybody? Welcome back once again to the Definitive Serial Tier List, where each episode we take a serial, put it on the tier list, so you know how good it is. I'm your host, Tucker. In this episode, we're doing Kind Honey Almond. Now, last episode, we did the Dark Chocolate Almond Kind Cereal, and that did manage to get a C, just kind of barely. It did bring much better almond presence to the cereal, which I had, you know, requested before, but it then made the flake itself seem a lot more lacking and kind of disappointing. So didn't quite work as well as the also C rank Special K chocolate and almond. I think that was stronger, but it did manage to get above a D. Let's see how Honey Almond does. Obviously kind of similar flake base here with almond and now honey so the chocolate and you know do like honey the cheerios that's an a so potential for that taste however also in lieu of the chocolate pieces in this one they have some coconut pieces which weird that that's not in the title but they're there and that does remind me of the toasted coconut cheerios which was an e so hopefully it's less like that more like honey on cheerios well, let's just open it up. Let's see what this tiny box has for us. Pour a bit, but should be okay. All right. Definitely can see a bit of like the honey sort of glaze on these. Pieces. Coconut pieces here look like macaroni. Here they look a bit more like the almonds. So that's probably good. But yeah, not too different from the dark chocolate almond one. Obviously, you know, chocolate coloring on flakes or chocolate pieces. But other than that, fairly similar. See if this one is just as much chewing needed. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if I love the coconut almond mix like the again like the dark chocolate one you're getting a lot more sort of earthy flavor compared to something like special k but yeah i don't know if it's mixing exactly how i want the coconut like i, I felt like throughout that chew i took a smaller bite it didn't chew as long but throughout that chew i had like a moment of almond moment of honey moment of coconut back to moment almond so it's cool that you're getting all those different flavors it's combinations not in the moment my favorite the branding for the kind cereal says ingredients you can see and pronounce so you know taking a look at the ingredients on both of these and yeah, notice in this one it says cinnamon near the bottom and i don't think i was really tasting that and now that i'm seeing their cinnamon I might be tasting a bit, but I don't know if that's just one of those things where I'm told this is here, so I, you know, am imagining it there. But either way, not a strong presence for the cinnamon, but it's there. I think I now have adjusted a bit to the coconut almond honey sort of balance, and I'm liking it a bit more than that first bite. But it's interesting because putting the coconut in the place of the like chocolate piece that the other one had much more chewing on this one like there was already a lot of chewing happening in dark chocolate almond kind but not for honey almond just constant chewing non-stop which you know again i said this last time not a huge deal like it's not really a pro or a con just something that happens so it makes me think if you're trying to eat slow this might be a good cereal for that all right now let's see how the flavor mix is going in the milk I'm getting much more honey in the milk. That's interesting. Hmm. 
yeah, that's sort of the main flavor I'm getting. I don't really recognize much coconut. Not much almond either. Yeah, that's mostly honey. That's very interesting. It's a good honey taste though. I'm definitely into it. But I wish that was you know, more present on the flake, not just in the milk. Last episode, I said I was glad I wouldn't have to be mean to kind, but this episode might come off a little more mean. So honestly, the, the biggest thing that's going through my head right now with this kind cereal is the fact that it's called honey almond, but the honey taste mostly shows up in the milk, but then you have those big coconut pieces and also like little flakes like you'd find in like ice cream or like candy, like those cut up flakes of coconut. So you got coconut pieces and these like coconut flakes, but that's not in the name, but honey is. And I'm just very confused by that. Like, I feel like it should be coconut almond and then, oh, also there's a bit of honey. Or just put all three. Like, I, don't, I don't know what's up with that, but that's been a little distracting for this. But moving past that into the actual, you know, cerealness of it, I think the coconut pieces by the end, I was a little more into. Definitely much better than the toasted coconut Cheerios. Like, it's nothing like that flavor. So that was good. Again, almonds and flakes, kind of similar to the last one. Pretty present almond. Now a ton of flake, which is disappointing again because that honey flavor in the milk was pretty good and I would have liked that a bit more. But then, you know, there's the chance that the almond and honey and coconut flavor that I mentioned at the beginning when I had all three sort of tastes happening, kind of a weird combination. So maybe if it had been like that the whole time, it'd still be weird. So I don't know why honey just was less consistent. So maybe that's for the best for the balance of the cereal, but I personally like the honey flavor, I think more than the coconut flavor. So what I'm gonna do is give Kind Honey Almond a D. I think it's much more fine than dark chocolate almond was, so it is gonna fall sort of below that line. And again, it's sort of the same thing where it's cool the almonds are there, the piece is kind of weak, but I think the almond dark chocolate piece flavor worked a bit better than the combination did with this one so it, it doesn't quite move above that line and i mentioned this already but much more chewing happens in this one because you know gotta chew coconut a bit more than you chew chocolate so that was kind of weird too it's still not really a negative or a positive it maybe instead of being completely neutral it's like slightly trending towards negative just because it's like okay i'm ready i'd like to have another bite but Still chewing, but yeah, just a lot of chewing and I feel like I gotta point that out again. And I guess in the last one, I didn't consider the price and the ranking, but I think if I did that, they might both be at D's just because, again, they're pretty expensive for how small they are. But I don't know, now, now that it is in the D and I'm thinking about the price of it again, that seems a bit more fitting, so. Dark chocolate almond sort of lucked out by just barely making it over, but I'm not too upset with giving this one a D. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and in the comments below, post your general thoughts. Let me know if you've tried kind honey almond cereal and what you thought of it. If you tried both honey almond and dark chocolate almond and you have a favorite, feel free to let me know. Obviously, dark chocolate honey for me, but maybe you're different or maybe you agree. And right now, I don't plan on doing the other two kind cereals because, again, very expensive. So if I happen to see them on sale, maybe I'll pick them up. But if you're a huge fan of one of the other two and you really think there's one of them I should do, you can try to make that case below. Otherwise, sorry fans of the other two. But until next time, stay delicious.